Okay, look for the tattletale signs of a futuristic, futuristic failure. A failure mode that will happen many, many months from now. Open your eyes. What do you see? Look right here. Water. Now look over here. Water. Fill up with water. And where does that water come from? Where the screws, they have the electrical uh, put down the strut channel and they have screws going through and there's slight holes and this is positive pressure moisture coming out it's hitting the bottom side of this metal we're getting down into the 30s at night and 40s it's condensating and turning into water and actually it becomes sometimes a big puddle and when you look in here what do you see lots and lots of condensation because right there is the access hole going down into the room, positive pressure, 70-80% humidity coming up into the atmosphere out here. It's a lower pressure. We won't use the word negative pressure, but a lower pressure. And it hits the metal box. It also travels up the conduit, goes inside, and some of this conduit is kind of like going on a downward slope. If I were to cut the conduit over there and pick it up and lean it in this direction, a ton of water would come out of the conduit. The conduit literally fills up totally with water. So all those wire nuts, every night when it gets cold, condensates in the water. And what happens to two metal connections that aren't like soldered together or waterproofed and you're constantly getting them wet? Here's the other one on the other side of the building. As you can see, it's totally soaking wet. And where the conduit here drops down about two inches and then goes that way so it's a constant supply of water coming right up the hole there's the hole that's what enters the room down below pressurizes in here with high humidity warm air flashes and condensates into a liquid travels down the conduit that's in the downhill this is you know shit rolls downhill if you're a plumber and totally fills the conduit again if i cut this conduit and i pick it up this whole conduit goes across 20 or 30 feet i'll have about a gallon of water inside that conduit the wires are literally submerged underwater so this is a repeat and then in summertime this problem will disappear because it will be warmer and it won't be below the dew point right now the temperature of the metal is below the dew point so you get these failure rates and uh, so the one way you can take care of that like on this one here it comes up right here travels here goes into here you got one down below that's going down get some fire foam and give a little squirt of fire foam right here or get some of that red fire putty I like using everything fire rated especially when you're in electrical boxes and on metal and stuff like that. So you got the fire putty or the fire foam and just a squirt to block off the airflow from inside your pressurized room. And uh, I'm not the electrician. I'm not the one who installed this, but um, it was a uh, kind of a well-known problem that one of those things you know just knows going to happen especially uh one is it's just really basic science really basic physics you you don't have to be a super genius i mean if you went to third grade and you were in science class uh, this is the kind of thing they they don't literally talk about electrical boxes but they give you the basis of knowledge as a child that when something's hot and cold hot and humid hot and moist hits something cold like the glass of water with ice cubes in it on a hot summer day those um, little droplets of water that form on the outside of your glass in summertime is not water seeping through the glass and uh, so we're all supposed to be big boys now and supposed to know that water doesn't normally seep through glass it's called condensation and uh, this is going to be a future problem so Either I'm going to tell them to call the electrician, come back out and take care of this, or I'll probably end up taking care of this and sealing up all the access points in and out through all the penetrations. 
That's all for today.